Good afternoon, everyone. This is Bremster, and today I'm coming to you with something that I think is incredibly special. Today, I've got a special guest to the channel. This here is Kishore from Unshackling Sudokus and Puzzles, one of my favorite Sudoku solving channels. Hey, Kishore. Hi, Brem. Thanks for hosting me in your channel. I'm really glad that we could make this happen. After about two or three months, we finally got together. Yeah, time zones are horrible, um, particularly between uh, in here in Australia, apparently. When you're ge yep. getting home from work, I'm asleep. <laughs> um, so it's been a real trick to line this one up. Um, so I'm looking all over the place because I've got Kishore in down there, the puzzle. And yeah, it screens. <laughs> but it's good that we could finally line this one up and uh, make it all work. So yeah. We've spent some time trying to figure out uh, what we're going to do, and we've finally settled on we're going to try a puzzle called Soylent Green by uh, Grockles. Um, this is a puzzle that Grockles sent me, I think, about a month ago, um, and I was definitely interested in giving it a shot. So um, it's a bit thematic, thematic to the puzzle pack that um, is being created for my channel for May. So uh, that is also fitting because it plays with parody and that's what we're doing for the puzzle pack. Um, so that helps. It's not why I chose it. I promise Kishore. Yeah. Um, do well, you wanna... This is an excellent author. Uh, many of his Sudokus have been solved in the past and I uh, found his Sudokus to be extremely challenging. Even I've broken one of his Sudokus in the past and left it so I found this Sudokus to be really hard. I think this would be an excellent challenge. I hope so. So do you want to just give a quick introduction to um, your channel and what you do on it? Yeah, sure. So uh, I'm Kishore. Um, I'm running a YouTube channel along with Ashish. You might know this probably already. And we post videos mostly on alternate days. Alternate days. And we are posting it on uh, Unshackling Sudokus and Puzzles. I'll the title that you see about the rules. Yeah, so if you're interested, please do check it out. And by the way, I have uh, represented India at World Sudoku Championships uh, since 2015 until 2019. Post 20, uh, there were no championships due to COVID, but we're looking forward to it this year. Uh, hopefully it happens. As I understand, it is supposed to happen at Poland this year. Let's see if it goes well and try to represent the country again at the World Sudoku Championship. Well, it all feels a bit daunting to me because I'm one of the people who got into this during COVID. So you basically oh. stopped doing this. So I actually you... wanted to ask you this. Uh, are you harboring any aspirations to, uh, you know, play as part of Australia in the World Championships or would you like try to visit as a guest in future? I, I don't know. I have not thought about that. I've, uh, I mean... I came from board gaming and I'd kind of like to get back to board gaming conventions in other countries. Um, I have not thought about doing anything with Sudoku championships. I don't think I'm that good, but we will, I don't know. I, I really don't like that sort of pressure. Um, it would be nice I to mean, meet uh, people. You will still feel the pressure during competition, but post that, there are lots of other activities like we used to play board games when the championships gets over. We used to go out. There is a separate diff that you can do outdoor activities. So. There, are, there is much more than just the pressure of Sudokus and puzzles. That so sort of stuff interests me a lot more. But um, yeah, so I would, as I said, I'd, I've thrown a link above to Unshackling Sudokus and Puzzles and there'll be details below. Um, Ashish is one of the people who got me into puzzles and kept me going in puzzles. Um, Ashish is one of my favorite setters. I love his puzzles and I spend hours a month um, doing them. And I really appreciate the, the fact that he's enthralling Sudoku pack. I did a video on those just a few days ago. Um, he provides me such excellent puzzles and I'm glad to be yeah. able to cover them on the I'm channel. a patron of that as well. I was yeah. just solving his variants for the month of April. Yeah, I've I've done a I've j just finished some of the ones from March. I, I'm saving April up for a re uh, recording next. So anyway, we okay. should get on to this puzzle, Soylent Green by Grockles. Sure. Um, hi, this is Future Bremster cutting in just to give you a little bit of a warning. Kishore and I actually struggle quite a lot with this puzzle, as you've probably seen by the duration. And at the end, we don't actually manage to figure out how to complete the puzzle logically. We end up using a uniqueness trick in order to get through it. 
Um, we do say in the video that anyone who figures out how to get through it logically, we would really appreciate it. And we are planning on reaching out to Grockles um, to find out how to do that. But if you are actually not interested in watching an hour and a half long video where we do not actually manage to prove a logical solve, then we'll ha I'll have another video for you tomorrow. And Kishore and I are planning on recording again in the future. I do. We decided to release this video anyway because we'd spent months trying to plan getting together um, and we didn't want to just not release that. We thought that the interaction was really cool and people might find it interesting to watch us really struggle with the puzzle. Um, we Solvers don't always succeed. You probably encountered that in your own solving career. So um, if, yeah... I just wanted to give you a heads up. If you're not interested in watching a struggle and then kind of fail, then there'll be another video tomorrow. If you are interested, then please enjoy the interaction that Kisha and I have while we absolutely struggle to find the way through this and end up using a uniqueness trick. I'm really sorry that this has happened. We did want to bring something better, but this is the content we generated. And I'm not ashamed to admit, I don't always succeed and watch us fail. Thanks very much, everyone, and back to past Kishore and Bremster. So the way this puzzle works is a few rules in play. So we have normal Sudoku rules apply, which um, so in every box, in every row, and in every column, we have to place the digits one to nine without repetition. There is an inequality sign, um, which means that this digit will be lower than this digit. Um, and apart from that, now we've got these weird cages. In digits in cages may repeat, so they're not like killer cages. You can repeat digits in cages. And for each cage, all of its digits are the same parity, even odd. So all of the digits in this cage will have the same parity. They'll either all be even or all be odd. And that's the same for every cage in the grid. Whenever two cages are connected by a white dot, those cages sum to the same number. So these two cages will sum to the same number. These two cages will sum to the same number. These cages, that cage and that cage will sum to the same number. Now, all possible white dots are given, but there is a limit of one dot per connected cage. So if you look down here, for example, these two cages are connected in three different ways. They could be connected there, there, or there, but only one dot is given so that there's not dots all over the grid. Um, so that's the rules we've got to go on. We ready? Yep. Let's give this a shot. So one thing I can tell is these have the same total. Now, exactly. so those two cells must both be odd or both be even, right? They can't be of, uh, or can we deduce them? Can't say nothing. No, because if this is seven, for example, this could be four and three, well, it can't be seven, but if it's five, this could be one and four. Yes, I can't say that. Either. Yeah. So what, I'm probably gonna have to bring up my calculator at some point. So <laughs> my killer calculator for totals. Um, so we've got four cells. Actually, this is what looks interesting to me. Ah, uh, I was looking at that. Because these will either all be odd or all be even. All be even. But if these, are, whether these are all odd or all even, this is an even total. So these have to all be even. Exactly. That's right. So those are all even, which means these sum to an even total. So this sums to an even total, but it still oh, could be all yes. odd or all even. Now we've now used two evens in this box. And these can't all be even, because if these were all even, we would have seven evens in the yeah. room. That would be a bit if of those a are all odd. Those are all odd. Now we know row nine, column eight, and row nine, column nine must have one odd and one even. Well, these are all even odd. now, because if they're all odd, we've got too many odds. So these are all even. Uh, what did you So Yeah, this is an I even. I was saying that. Uh, yeah. These are now odd. Yes. Because if they were even, we would have too many evens in the box. This is now even because two odds sum together oh, are that. even. We've now got all of the evens in the box. These are odd, so they these all odds. become odd. Odds. Seems to be an excellent starting. 
This is odd because we've got four evens in the box. One odd cell means that those are odd. Sorry, I'm not giving you much of a chance to contribute here. No issues. I mean, you can place now column one, all uh, rest, everything must be evens. Oh, right. And that means that's even as well. We've got all of the evens. These are all odd. This is odd, odd. by the way. I, d I don't know if you knew that seven was odd. I, I figured that out at some point during my solving career. Uh, <laughs> a row four column two must be odd. Yeah, yep. got there. And now column three can be filled up, I think, right? We have four odds. And uh, we are left with three cells. Okay, we can't reduce that. Uh, this is odd. And uh, row seven, the solo cell would be even. Row the solo unshaded cell. Seven. seven. Ah, yes, that is even. And row eight would be even as well, the yep. last cell. So we're back to having that even and that odd. Yes. So I think in row two. These are uh, even. The, Sorry. That's right. Yeah. Ah, you, yeah, were, you were seeing see it from the other direction. I was looking at the vertical, yeah. I mean, horizontal. Yeah, you were looking at the horizontal. Same I was looking at the vertical. We got to exactly the same point. Same direction. Uh, we've now got all of the evens in odd evens. the row. So the row was row definitely two. more powerful. This is odd. This is odd. Even. Oh, actually, this always had to be even. Because if these were two evens, this would be even. If ah, these were two yes. odds, this would have to be even. So that is odd. Sorry. These are odd. Odd. That is odd. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that could go either way. That would be odd, right? The uh, kids that you just highlighted, it must be odd because they number all can't of, be even, right? Yeah, number of evens in the column. If they were even, we would have a problem. So they are odd. And uh, row three is completed now. That is even. So row even. And box what two is, is also completed. That is even. Good spot. And I think uh, the cage starting from row five, column four, we'll be able to fill that one. Those are even. It should be all even. Because in column five, we've got already five odds. Oh, yeah. That's even. So that is odd. So that is odd. So that is even, making even. that even. These are odd. So that is the even, meaning that is odd. That is odd. That is even. This is even, even and that is and even that is even and we've completed okay, the puzzle so finally we've got it. <laughs> is that is first that part a... of the puzzle at least damn <laughs> so now we've got to do this tricky killer sudoku thing Indeed. um so so i think uh, we can start with the blue single cell cages maybe because we can write to eliminate two from there right but yeah, they so can't be two. four six or eight and that is four, six, or eight. So they can't be the same. But it does mean that's a nine. Oh, is that a nine? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Nice. That's really nice. Which gives that as a nine. Yeah. By the funny thing called Sudoku. Yeah, classic Sudoku. And so digits can repeat, right? Otherwise, we could have put nine in column six. Yeah, digits, digits can repeat inside cages. Digits can repeat in cages, yes. So, we can't use that. so I'm thinking about this. The maximum you can put in here is four, six, and eight, which is 18. It's four, six, and eight. You are much faster at math than I am. And the minimum we can put in here is one, three, five, and seven, which is 16. Okay. So there is some freedom here. So we can be sure that in row nine, nine would be inside the cage because already placed a nine in row two column nine. Right. So, so nine we have to be inside the, so because nine has to be inside the cage, this has to be four, six, eight. Yeah, the minimum and we have, sum in the cage 
becomes 1, 3, 5, and 9, which is 18. And 4, 6, and 8, yeah, you're right. You're right. So this is 1, 3, 5, so, 9, 4, that 6, is literally 8, forced. 2, and 7. And 7. Excellent. This is really excellent. So 1, 3, 5, and 9 five, going nine. here. Now, and those blues in box nine must be four, six, and eight. They're yeah. useful to pencil mark that. And that gives a two in box six. It doesn't really help that much. Actually, this no. is interesting because we have to put a seven in here now, don't we? Oh, no, nine, uh, one, three, yes. five. No, oh, no, seven has to go in. Yes, seven, seven must be inside, that. yes. So right. this is either nine, one... Yeah, actually. Uh, 9, 3, and 7, 5. Yeah. So, Two choices are left close. Yeah. So it's this is 1 or 3, and this is 3 or 5 with five. 7. Exactly. So one thing that we have reduced now is 1 must be in uh, column 9 and box 3. 1 can't be in those yellow cells. So 1 must one. be in column 9, box 3. Oh, that's true. So this is 3 that or 5. Speak, uh, That's interesting. Um, so if, you, if we look at column one, I think uh, we already know that two, four, six, and eight must be in those cages, right? That's a good point. And two, four, six, and eight sum to 20. 20. So this. Must These sum to at least 22. Hang on, yes. this is also 2468. So these two digits here sum to that digit because these are connected. Uh, uh, how did you arrive at that? I'm not able to follow that. So this is 2468. Okay. These, this, whoops, this cage here has the same sum as that cage and this cage has the same sum as this cage. Uh, so okay. these two cells here sum to that cell there because these have yeah, the same yeah, sum. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. And you take out the 20 and the 20. So this is... Exactly. So exactly. the minimum exactly. you can put in there is 2 and 4. So one, this is two. 6 or 8. You can put 2 and 2, right? You can also put 2 and 2. This is 4, 6 two. or 8. <laughs> yeah, 4, 6 and 8. Huh? I got it wrong. Um because you might Actually, have uh, misunderstood that digits don't repeat and say yeah, yeah yeah i keep forgetting that. that so we know two is in here because of the row uh okay which makes that a two exactly so we do have a two in here so this is going to be two less than that so this is two four or six Oh, nice. And seven in column one must be in box seven, right? You can pencil mark that, I think. That must be useful. Seven in oh, uh, column one. It of must course, because it can't be down here. Yeah. So the case starting from row one, column one. It's minimum 24 and maximum 28. Yes. Can we do something with that? 24, 28 with only Eight. odds. So. Problem is five, that digits repeat inside pages. Yeah, I know. And five, seven, and nine is. It's 22. Okay. 22, you said. So. I'm sorry, 5, 7, and 9 is 21. 21. And we need to get to 24 to 28. Yeah, did, mm, so this is... Yeah, can't be anything. Yeah. I mean, we've Can got we look at cells, uh, row 1, column 4, and maybe row 7, column 6? 
they seem to be interesting to me because the odds left in column five are one, three, five, and seven. Perhaps we can shuffle them in the cages. Seven has to be in one of the cages, which means eight has to be in one of the blue cells, right? True. Which means that yes. can't be an so, eight. And which means seven and one have to go together. And three and five have to go together. Is that right? Am I right in that reduction? Uh, yeah. In column five, seven has to be in one of the yellow cages. And the minimum value that seven can go with is a one, which means uh, it has to be eight in one so of the they cages are and both three, eights. five. Both are eight, right? That's very clever. I would not have spotted that. Hang on. No, I did that I'm wrong. I'm sure in months. Uh, we will, we will well, I would have, but not quickly. <laughs> so that can't be a one is what we know. But those are both eights. There's no eight there. This is an eight. Uh, how did you eliminate uh, one from row two, column five? Uh, because there's no seven there. We know one goes uh, with seven. Okay, okay, okay. Because the seven Understood. here. So there's no one. Yeah, there. yeah. Right, right, right. These are both eights. So there's no eight in here. This is eight, so there's no That's eight three. in here. Nice. Four this and six, so that eight. becomes two and eight. These are four and six. Four, six. Absolutely. And I'm just seeing something. Seven can be eliminated from uh, row two, column five, because you can't have eight or nine in row two, column six. Seven is less than that. So, so we've got there, the three, so that five. Becomes three, five. That becomes one, seven. There's no one Fantastic. in there. That's cool. That's very cool. I mean, I probably, I would have spotted that eventually, but not for a long time. So 1, 3, 5, and 9 sum to 18, and we've got another 18 over here, although that's not connected to anything. This one is connected to something, though. So this is another 20. 2, 2 4, 6, 8. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I can type digits, honestly. <laughs> It's really hard to solve when you're not typing. So I'm, I appreciate you doing this. Thank you. Um, no issues, Simon. I'm happy to do this. So two, four, we, six, we must eight. do this more often whenever time arises. Yes. We should have these kind of questions. I hope so. And hopefully we'll figure out a way of you being able to control it and me do the recording. That'll be the next trick. So two, four, six, eight. So this also is two, four, six. So the minimum of these is 26. Yes. So this cage has to yes. get up to 26. But the minimum here is... B1357, which is 16. Plus 9. 25. Plus 1 is 26. So we could get to 26. Yeah. And I think we can do some tidying up here. Row 1, uh, column 1, and row 1, column 2 can't be 8s. Uh, very good. And remove the eights from here. And uh, row two, column six can't be two. Eight goes there, of course. And row two, column six uh, can't be a two because it needs to be at least four. Row oh, two, column right, five yes. must be less than that. Yes, 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 yes. And now we know the minimum sum is 28 for that case. Okay, so still not enough, I don't think. Well, hmm. Because we, when we figured it out, that could still be a one. And if we up the value yes. of that, we've got heaps of room. So these are three, five, and nine. Putting it in because... One of the we haven't that... yet used the Y's for some room, right? Maybe the final uh, skill that we may be required to find. The, the cages which are adjacent and uh, not, not marked by a white dot, they can't have the same sum, right? Right That's that true. All possible dots are given. So, for example, this can't sum to eight, just in case you were wondering. Um, That's true. So, this can't sum to ten. So, it can't be one nine or three seven. That's potentially interesting hang on what does this sum to this is 18 18 so th oh this could never get to 18 right yes eight so this can't sum to 10 that's what we're getting out of that so far 
I think we can eliminate six from uh, row six column two. Is that right? Uh, because those two cells add up to row one column, right? Oh yes, these they two do. cells. Yes, yes, so yes, yes. So we can yes. eliminate the six from that cell. Yes. So this is either two two four or four four. Uh, four two six yes so one more nice deduction is four must be in one of uh, row one column two or row six column two right because if you have four in uh, row one column two two must be in row six column two and if you have a six in row one column two then four must be in uh, row six column two. so right. either so way four is there in if this is two. six and this is two we've broken the sum connection right so there's no four yes, down four. here perfect very cool That's very cool. Hang on, eight has to go in here. So there's no eight down yes. here. Nice. This is a four six pair. That's an four. eight. Football. I feel there's something weird happening down here now. And I think four must be in uh, columns, right? Box two. Column. Uh, because sorry. two. Uh, wait a minute. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. Uh, row three, column four must be four or six. So we have a four, six pair in that box. Now. Oh, yes. Four, six. This is also four, six, but that means that that is a two. That would be There's a two. There's no yes. two there. That's a four, six pair. We take four, six out of there. This is a two, eight pair. Two, we eight. can take that the becomes four, two six. out of there. We've got a four, six pair. This becomes two, eight. Eight. There's a lot of... And we can place the seven in box two now, I think. Seven in box two. So these are one and seven. So this is seven. seven. This is one. That is a one. Now, uh, one in box one goes in row three, right? Yes. So that gives us a one in box. I'm sorry. One in box one goes in row three. Yes, that gives the one there, right? So this is still one, three, five, though. So seven has to be in there. I'm doing that. So we can be sure that in box five now, four and six must be inside the cage, the even cage. Four and so yes. Six must be inside that cage. So we have a total of 10. So which could potentially get up to 12 or 18, right? But you can't have 18 because it's connected by white dot to a cage. So it must be 12. That's very cool. Nice. That's that's really nice. Very nice spot there. So this is now twelve. So nine be, three seven five. And five. Yes. Should so we pencil mark that? Nine three or seven three, five. Seven five. Yes. That's the only possibility. Yes. Yes, that's the only possibility. So now it follows that one and three go in uh, column six, box five. One and three go in column six, box five. So that's so which means that you can eliminate three. the three. Yes. So the information is trickling from this Sudoku. Really nice. Yeah, it's very. I mean, it's like the author is controlling the flow. Yeah. How much information should come out? <laughs> Often when I solve a puzzle like this, it's like, why can't I set this well? Um, I think uh, for creating good Sudokus, you need to spend a lot of time and I don't have that leisure. I used to create uh, two, three years back and I realized that when I created, I improved a lot, but I could not unfortunately focus on creating because it requires a lot of time and I don't have that much time. Yeah. Well, it's an art really and I admire people who are able to create Sudokus. I, I've been lucky recently that I've had, well, not very recently, but I've had a lot of time to create puzzles. And uh, even this morning, we sat down and created a few puzzles for the pack that's coming. And uh, we oh. were able to do a lot of cool stuff with it. People will see that in 
a few weeks. <laughs> And talking about creation, I remember your creation as well. Uh, gyroscope, you created a Sudoku themed on gyroscope, right? Uh, I think we covered a video on that too. It was an excellent one. I've gyroscope. Oh, gyrus. Yeah, sure. the gyrus puzzle, the killer um, quadruple puzzle. It was my first quadruple yeah, puzzle yeah. and led to ended up leading to March of the Quads. Yes, I enjoyed gyrus. It was excellent. Um, and that's the one that led eventually. I think that was the one. That's the one I think that led to Ironworks which got a CTC feature. We should focus on this puzzle first. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Coming um, back to the puzzle. Uh, I mean, it's good to chat. And people like it when we banter, apparently. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm wondering about the negative constraint now. Like, what can we do? Yeah, right. Although it doesn't seem to have a huge impact yet. Although we know this is 10 now, so we can't put a 5 in there. This must be three seven. Uh, yes, yes, yes. That's true. So that's three seven. This is five. That's this a is five. three. That's a three. That takes three out we of there. Five, that becomes seven, a five uh, seven pair. That takes five out of there. This becomes one three. Which means we this is five. five. There, yes. This is three. That takes three, three out of there. This has got a very cool flow. Yeah, exactly. And I enjoy these Sudokus where you are required to first, uh, you know, decipher the parity of every cell before you even get a digit. That's what we did here. Well, on the on Friday the 13th of May, we're going to be releasing a pack which is full of a lot of odd-even puzzles. So if you enjoy those nice. and you've got time to solve, the pack will be there for you. Um, so what are we looking at next? The cage that you're on right now, it sums to 20. So we remember that. Well, uh, actually, this is already at least 16. Plus, we need to add at least another four, four nine. One, three, five, right? Yeah, well, that's at least another. Well, one, three, and five is nine. So this is going to be at least an, at least 27. And it can't be 20. Uh, Hang on. I don't think we can have the nine there. Sure. Oh, so it feels to me that nine can't go there. Yeah, yeah, can the we just work on that? Yeah, the maximum yeah. we can put in here is 32. Uh, 2, 4, 6, 8 plus 12. Yes, 32. That's right. So if we put another that's nine right. in this cage, we're already so at 18. Becomes... That would get us to 25. Right? And we'd have to stay, keep these three cells under eight. Yeah, nine is possible there. It we we could still put a nine in those cells and maybe put two, a two, one four. in uh, row four, column oh, sorry, seven. One, one, yeah, we could. I've got to remember that these are even odd. Um, yeah. Hang on. Ah, oh, no, that's still not enough. Uh, can we play around with that cage? I mean, uh, the cage starting at row one, column one. Because mm -hmm. I've just realized that uh, uh, row four, column one is same as the uh, row one, column two. Those are the Perhaps same? Perhaps we can do something there. 10, uh, 18 plus 6, 24. So it's either 24 or 26. Yes. So how do we make 24 or 26 in that cage? So can we do it without a nine? 14, we can't. Uh, if we were to use two sevens, we're at 14. And then three and five can be used, right? Uh, uh, yeah. We can no, go. that won't be enough. Hang on, five and three would be... 14 plus 8 is... 22. So we need to use a 9. Yes, you're right. 9 goes to be, uh, has to be inside at least once. So there is a 9 in that cage. That's bad pencil marking, but I'm doing it anyway. Yes, so, you need to remember. <laughs> yeah. These kind of things. Yes, so um, I always call it out. This is bad pencil marking, so I remember, hopefully. So there must be a nine in this cage. Now, once there's a nine in the cage, 
Can we eliminate a one from that cache? Is it possible or well, I don't think it's possible? I don't think it's possible either because if you do nine and seven, or the thing is you could still do nine and nine. Yes, it's not right. And we then, can't eliminate the one. And then you've got so much freedom, it's not funny. Those are the same. Those are not the same. Those are the same. Row four, column two. Should we focus on that cell? We have a sum of uh, 16, 17 from that cage already. So maybe it will. 17. This can't hit the same as this, but I don't think it yes. can anyway. Well, this can't be a one. No it, can, uh, no, it can be. Sorry, I'd gotten the totals yeah, yeah. wrong because we were talking about 18 here before and I got the numbers wrong. So it can be anything. Well, that's an eight right there. Ah, yes, you're right. We missed some simple uh, classic stuff. <laughs> so in box six, we do the two and eights. <laughs> Did, we do that all the time. So that makes that yes. an eight. And that it and took. That's it. Perfect. Which got us precisely that. Well, there's no two in here, and there's no eight in here. There must be an eight in here. There must be a two in here. I feel it's got to be either this cage or this cage. Yes. That's where action seems to be focused on. I still think maybe we need to use that vice versa bit up, uh, a little to get it going. I mean, so far we haven't used it much, right? We haven't used it at all, in fact. The what, sorry? Vice the... Versa. The vice versa. I mean, the adjacent cages, which are not marked by white dots, can't have the same sum. Yeah, but if you look at it, these are this is all too large to get to this, isn't it? Like this can't be eighteen, but it's already way over eighteen. This can't be ten, so it can't be one nine. But it can be anything other than one nine. I mean, we have to put one and nine in here. So. Yeah. But so these are one, five, seven, and nine. But all we know is if we put a one in here, the nine is in one of those two. And if we put a nine in here, the one is in one of those two. Not much. This can't sum to the same as any of those, but it's already too large. This can't sum to the same as this, but again, it's already too large. This is 18 and this hits 20 right here. I was actually looking at uh, row four, column seven. Can it be five or nine? As you're so just moving if, the cursor, I was seeing that seven. If these are nine, this is 25. Uh, no, the reason is if you have a five in row four, column seven, yep. then you get a nine in row four, column four. And you instantly get all the digits, rest of the digits in uh, that cage, in that box. So, if so can it be five or nine? Can we eliminate that? So if that's nine, that's five. So we get uh, nine, nine, seven, which is 25. And then we get uh, one, three, nine, which is 13. So we get 38, which is too large. So I don't think we can have a nine in that cell, right? Okay. Then we can do it a little slowly. If you have a nine there, row four, column four becomes a five. Yeah. So nine, nine, seven in that cage is 25 and 25 plus one, three and nine, which is too big. Yes. Yep. It can't be there. Can't be there. I so will we, trust you. We can get math. a maximum of 32. Yeah. <laughs> so if this is seven, and this is three, 
This is, that is nine. 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 This is one, three, five. Nine plus seven, 16 plus 16, 32. We can still reach the total. So if this is seven, that's fine. If this is five, five. this is nine, three. This is and one, five, three, seven, five. Nine. So if this is five, this is one, three, five. So that's 14. Uh, one, three, five, which is nine, 30. 14 plus 16, 30. Which 30 means, is also possible, unfortunately. Yeah. And if this is so one, could... then I think these are both four. Yeah. So these are seven. These are both six. Five is four, six, and one is four, four. We could only eliminate the nine from that cell. Yeah. If we could eliminate the nine from there, then we can eliminate the one from in here. One from there, yes. Can we do a similar trick down here is the question. The digits repeating in cages is making this very tricky. Well, we've hit that stalling point. So we have only one inequality symbol, right? Am I right in that? So we don't have any other inequality. Yep, that's Do we have only... any inequality symbols? That's the only one, right? Just the just that one, which is now fully resolved. I think we need to eliminate one by one digits like uh, what we did in box six. Just eliminate one by one, one candidate by candidate. Yeah. Like one of the things I was looking at is if we put three in here, because three only has three places in this row. If we put three uh, in here, this becomes seven, five. This becomes one. And we know if this is one, this is four, four which would make this six. So if we put three in here, this becomes six. So we're pushing it's... this down and this up. Okay. But I don't think it's doing enough. Yeah, I don't think I see a contradiction then. You could still have Three five five nine in that case. Yeah. The one which you just highlighted. What's to bet there's just a simple Sudoku thing staring us in the face? <laughs> that would be funny, maybe. <laughs> oh, it's always funny. Uh, one in row nine must be in that cage, so we can eliminate one from row seven, row eight, column one. One is in one of those cells. Yeah. One cannot be in these two cells. Yes. That's a small thing, but anyway. 
So three, five, seven, nine. Five, seven, nine. Oh, that would be useful if we could get a one out of there or something. Yeah, I was just looking at that area. I don't think there is anything there. There's all sorts of things that start forcing chains, but I can't see. So we can eliminate seven from row six, column eight. This is probably nothing but just a pencil mark elimination. Uh, there. Uh, no, row there. six, column eight, seven oh, cannot be there because seven. we already have a seven in there. Yep, you are correct. So these are actually just one, five, and nine. So there must be a three in this cage, yes. So it's 19 plus whatever goes in there. Yes. But uh, there's too many options there. I was looking at that area, but many possibilities there. Hang on. So there must be a one and a three in here. Yeah. So it's 20. So these, so this cell plus whatever else goes in here. This cell plus the five and the nine that's left over sum to those. Yeah. But there are many possibilities over there. So seven. Hang on. No, that does something. Because you can't put two ones in here. So if this is seven. Oh, no, it's seven. 25 plus something. 7, 5 would be 6, 6. Yeah, we've already done that. 5, 5 would be 6, 4. And 1, f 5? Can we put a 9 in there? Yeah, I think so. You can, because uh, the blue cage can always get up to 32, right? We have some freedom there. Yeah. 997 gives us 25. And then we can put three more digits which add up to 7. Because these are 1359. So they must contain a 1 and a 3. Um, Maybe it's three coloring. Is 13. Maybe we need to do some simple coloring. Uh, I can't see what to do it on. It'd have to be even digits, like fours and sixes. It'd be fours and sixes. Yeah, should we color it? I mean, it's a good idea what you said. We can use multicoloring here. At this point, I'd like to candidate mark those before I get rid of all the coloring. So these are 13579, yeah. just so I... And I think they can be any of them. And then if we get rid of the coloring, if we look at four sixes... That's an excellent idea. I mean, uh, because idea that becomes coloring yellow, here. that becomes green, that becomes green, and that kind of oh, stops does it there. run out. Green is in here, so yeah, this is yellow and green. 
So fours and sixes sort of stop. So do we want to... Yeah, that's the other way. Ah. And, or can we use the sum for it? Like, is there a sum total somewhere that we can use to continue the four six? I don't see that there is. Or is there another pair that we can start coloring? Two eights don't look anywhere near as powerful. Should we try and come at four sixes from another direction? Like that must be, uh, yeah, that would be that good. That must be another well. four six. That's that. a four six. That'd be. And blue. let's hope that they converge. That would be purple. That is a pink. Okay, a pink and purple. So blue would go in here, but we don't like if this was a four six. That would f force. It to be yellow. That would be green. Yellow, green, yellow, green. Um, yeah, they're not hitting they, anywhere, they, right? They just don't. Which I really want to move. They don't seem to hit anywhere. Let me think which you're about. So if this was a yellow four, because it couldn't be a green four. This would be a yellow four. Hang on. If this was a yellow four, this would be a green... If this was a yellow four, this would be a two. Yellow four... I, what I said there was completely wrong, and I'm aware of that. Yellow four would be one of those two. And it's just not doing anything. Yeah, doesn't seem to be doing anything. Uh, which makes me come back to what I said originally, that we have to use that vice versa part a bit. Right? Maybe that's what it's helping us, but I don't see how we can use that tool. Because I don't see any other reason for having all possible white dots have been given. Probably the author has used that idea somewhere in this one. Yeah, it's absolutely been used. I think these. this is the most likely candidate for it. Like this cannot be one nine. Yes. So there must be a one or a nine over here, but you can put a one or a nine in here as long as you don't put the other one with it. Like this 12 doesn't connect to anything. It's only big and little cages that talk to each other, that are, that are next to each other. That's the thing. Grockles has done it again. Are we looking for something yeah, like a fin X wing or something? Uh, or a skyscraper or something? Been looking like for can, classic ideas here. Like I can see sixes yeah. that only appear here, here, here. Like sixes have some weird positioning limitations. I think uh, if it were on paper, we could have marked some possibilities for each of the cases and 
just looked around to see if there is any uh, vice versa rule coming out. So right now it's kind of difficult. Right? I'm not sure how to mark that. Um, so we know that this is 28, 30 or 32. I'm going to grab my calculator. Sorry. 28, yeah, 28, 30 or 32 in five, uh, in six. So in six cell cage, I want 28, 30 or 32. Uh, no, that's not going to work. My calculator is not going to do the job because you can repeat digits. But it must have... Uh... If one, we look at, I mean, K, three, cage uh, seven, and nine. That uh, cage one in box one again. Cage is actually one. Uh, this one. Box one, not that one. The one left to the left of that. Yes. Yep. Well, these are the same digit, aren't they? Yes. So it's either twenty-eight. Sorry, no. It's either twenty-four or twenty-six. Yes. So this is either twenty-four or twenty-six. It must have a nine. Yeah, we saw that. And for that's not giving as much. Well, we're giving the commenters a lot to comment on. Oh. We can perhaps use one of their ideas because we seem to be stuck here. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, I wish the I could uh, see what the comments were going to be in advance because I could really do with the advice. Um, so I was looking at this earlier. Like, if this is two, this is four. That this would is be six. four. This is four. This is two. If this is four, this is six, this is two, and this is a four six pair. That doesn't help. This is four. This Actually, is... we could use uniqueness here. The moment you showed me that, I understood that we can use uniqueness. I'll take if it. I'm not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> We can use, but I mean, let's see if we uh, can hit on the idea, logical idea. Six, four, two, two, hang on, six, four, two, two, four, six, four, no, that's all good. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be a contradiction. It all it seems to be connected in a meaningful way. I don't think we can prove anything there. But if that's four, we know both of those become six. So that becomes four, that becomes four. Four there means six, two. And this becomes a four, six pair and isn't connected. That's crazy. Whereas if that's two, four, four, four. Actually, if that's two, that's six. Actually, that's something you can do to connect it. If that is two, we can connect the sixes and the fours. So if this is two, this is yellow. This is green. Now, this is working on the assumption that this is two. This becomes yellow. This becomes okay. green. This becomes yellow. This becomes green. These are both two. We still don't connect the and we still don't purple connect and the blues, right? They seem to be four off. Two, four, six. Oh, come on. Uh, 
I feel it's got to be this cage. We've done it many times in different ways, but not able to see anything. Mainly because uh, the cage above that can either be 28, 30 or 32. It has lots of options. Can the uh, purple and yellow be the same? If we put through that, I mean, we could go somewhere. They are same, then that digit goes in row 3, column 7. But I don't see anything beyond that. I don't see why purple and yellow can't be the same. Like if purple and yellow are the yeah. same, let's make purple yellow. Which makes blue green. green. What does that and do? A yellow in box 3 goes in row 3, column 7. Hang on. Does that work? That becomes green. Sorry, what did you? I was saying that the uh, yellow in box three goes in row three, column seven. That becomes yellow. That becomes green. Not going anymore, right? They could still be same or different. Yellow has to go down here now, and it's four or six. So this becomes yellow. So it's yellow becomes four. So if these are the same, yellow is four. Four, yeah. And which means oh, this is feeling horribly but at the moment, I'll take anything. Yes, I mean, the one thing we have at hand is that 4, 6 uniqueness idea. I'm certain that uh, row 7, column 3 cannot be 4 or 6 because you won't be able to uh, decipher that uniquely at the end. So it yeah. has to be a 2 and that finishes the Sudoku. <laughs> but uh, I, let's just see a few minutes. <laughs> uh, if not, we'll probably use that. We'll admit, we'll surrender to the Sudoku. <laughs> You can't have a four or six there because that yeah. inevitably gives multiple solutions, two solutions to the solution. I think it, yeah. There's no doubt about that. I, re I don't know that I've ever done a uniqueness trick on my channel before, but at this point... Because we're basically down to... Well, at the moment, if these are the, the same, this is a six. That is absolutely the case. Yes. So if these are the same, this is a six. So the question happens is what if they're different? So where did we start that journey? There. So if this is green, this becomes yellow. It's yellow. These become green. green. This becomes yellow. Green has to go there. Yellow. Uh, it should be in one of those cells. Yeah, but it doesn't actually go anywhere. Do that. If they're different, it runs out. But if they're different, is this total forced? <sighs> Hang on, where does yellow go in this box? It goes there. But that's all fine. Yellow is there, 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 
and there. Green is there and there. So that puts two in one of those two. Mm. Coloring is not helping us, right? <laughs> no, it's I don't not. think it's helping us. Oh, this is... I don't understand. I am clueless too. I mean, when I get stuck at some point, I'm stuck. It really becomes difficult for me to get beyond the stage. So I was actually looking at only the cages and uh, trying to use the vice versa, but I don't see any vice versa. I was looking a lot. I don't see anything. Oh, this is not a good video to show <laughs> for our joint solving capability, <laughs> is it? <laughs> We are going to look Some like people idiots. Some people are They love seeing us suffer. So in that sense, this would be a good video. <laughs> okay, cool. I don't want to they use... Are used to make... They are used to see us making videos just like that. So in truth, they will know how exactly it's difficult, how much difficult it's to make our videos. Yeah. I mean, I can see... I mean, I'm. A sh this has to be a deadly pattern if... Yeah. If that is certain. anything other than a two. There is no way you can use the variant rule to decipher that uniquely. No, so no, I'm pretty sure that it must be a two. Uh, row seven, column three. So, but I mean that really breaks the Sudoku. If you use that, <laughs> it gets instantly completed. Yeah, if that becomes <laughs> that's if, like short circuiting. If that becomes yellow, this becomes green. This becomes yellow. This becomes green. Even that doesn't do anything. It just this becomes two. This becomes four, so that becomes yellow. And we're still not connecting anything. Yeah. That's crazy. Yellow is one of those two. Actually, this is yellow and green now. So this is a yellow-green pair. So this is a two, this would be a two. This would be a two. I am absolutely stumped on this. Me too. Do I we want to use that to and there. just apologize and ask our viewers to uh, turn around and tell us what we missed? Maybe at two more minutes we'll see. If not, we'll use that uniqueness. Because let I mean we'll just try our best efforts. If not going anywhere, we'll use that. So let's uh, look together at again uh, that column one. We deduce that that could be either twenty four or twenty six. So which means that all the cages which are connected they must be twenty four or twenty six. Right? Yes. So. Why aren't we getting anywhere with that? That should help us, right? It should. We also reduce nine must be inside the cage. Yeah. So which means that the remaining three cells must sum up to 15 or 17. That is not a useful total at all. 15 or 17, yes. Now, if you use... So you've got three odd digits to sum to 15 or 17 you can use a repeat. Can you do it? Thing is, you can, if you use 735, you can even hide a nine there. I was wondering if you were forced to use yeah. a repeat digit and you're not. If you put a nine here, that puts a nine in here, which puts a one in one of those. There's so many little tricks. And I... Two cells here have to sum up to the same as that. It can't be one seven. It could be three five. 
if it's 10, it can not be 1, 9. It could be, actually, it can't be 3, 4. These, hang on, how do these ever get to be 4, 4? Uh, why can't they be? Because if these be. are 4, 4, without using 1 or 3 in here, oh, no, we could use a 1 here. 1 there, yes. 1... 179 would be 17, and we have 13. Hang on, but we need, to use, one, we need to use 1 and 3 in here with 5 or 9. So ignoring okay. the 1, 3 in here. So in here, we've got 5, 9, and in here, we've got 1, 5, 7. So we've got 5, 9 and 1, 5, 7. They're the only digits we've got to play with. So how do you ever make 8 using 5, 9 and 1, 5, 7? Uh, yes, I don't think it's possible, right? So you can't Unless do double you four. Double four is not possible, right? So double four is not possible. So this now has to either be 30 or 32. Now, if it's 30, you need to make 10, which would be 9, 1, or 5, 5. And if it's 12... Three? There's no three because you can't use okay, the three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's either it's seven five. So it's five seven. So that is all the possibilities. But you can't do four four here anymore, but you can do six six. Ag. So now we can use the coloring, right? Can they are we? different. But no, they, oh, they can be six six. They right? can be six six. Hang on, that means this can't be a six, though. Ah, uh, nice. Leap, leap, leap forward. Nice one. But that didn't get us anything. Yeah. Oh, come on. What am I missing? What are we missing? Not that I'm blaming you. I feel personally responsible for all of this. No, no, no nothing of that sort. <laughs> Both of us are solving. I mean, I'm not able to see anything. You know. So should we go along the direction and just see if uh, it works? Maybe try with the seven in row four, column seven. Probably bifurcating, but just seeing if we can hit on the logic. Row four, column seven. Put a seven here and see what happens. Seven here. Yeah. So if we put a we seven can... here... This becomes one three five. Uh, one three five. Yes, because the, now you need to use six six to hit the total. Whoops. Yeah, right. One three five it becomes one three five. Yes. So this becomes six six. This is now a six. There's no six in those. That's a four eight. That's a two. I hate doing this, but I don't see another way of doing it. Um, this becomes the four, this becomes the eight. So now confirming the total here, we've got 32, 14 plus nine is 23, 23. plus eight. And we have... No, plus nine is 32. Plus nine, yeah. 32. Yeah. So this becomes nine. I hate doing this. Yeah. We, we have gone already a bit farther than what... I would normally uh, do by far because this becomes nine. This becomes, this is absolutely bifurcating and I hate it, but I also hate sitting on my channel for ever not doing anything. This is now five. This is I mean, three. the uniqueness idea is better than this, right? I, mean, I agree. At least some clean logic. I, I agree. At least, I mean, we've, we've spoken about the uniqueness idea, so people could have progressed with that, but I'm, I, I just, don't know what to do because we've got seven we've got the five this is going to resolve isn't it <laughs> this is absolutely going to be it. yeah yeah it will finish the sudoku i think because this seems to be resolving that becomes a four all the greens are no fours uh because green was opposite to the yellow yellow is a six. Oh yeah so mm -hmm. this is six these are all four. the greens become four 
This is four. This is four. This is six. This is six. So we can get rid of the coloring. This is the dodgiest solve I've ever done. I am so sorry I invited you here for this. This can't be one no nine, issues, so there has I mean, to be a five in it. Whoops. There I enjoy be... doing this. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sometimes we should suffer. <laughs> this is one, three, five, nine. So this is seven. Actually, this is so three. three. There is no three down here. So there is a three in here. Oh, row this... four, column two is uh, one. Row four. Column. It cannot be three, five, seven, nine. So it has to be a one. So row four, column two. This can't be seven or one, five. Three, seven, or nine. It would have to be a one. Because you have a five in uh, row two, column. Ah, right. So yes, this is the one. This is the five. This is the one. This is the three. Which takes three out of those. There is now a seven in there. There is no six in those. We can complete column two now. I think uh, all the events can be placed to column two. This is nine, this is one, uh, two, six. That matches the four. We could have done that ages ago. Four, two, this is the four, six. Four, and we've broken the puzzle. Ah. Now Pretty that is just wrong. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get for bifurcating. So I don't want to know how many steps that was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this... it took forever to hit on that. Oh no. So these are different. No, so, I think we started with a seven as the guess, right? Row four, column seven, we started with. Is that uh, what we, oh, that that's what we started with, wasn't it? Yeah. So we didn't even prove well, anything other than that's not a seven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. So this isn't a seven. That's just all. I'm, oh, no. <laughs> so I think it's time for us to use the uniqueness. We should probably right. give up. Because... I, I agree. So <laughs> I'm so sorry, everyone. And I'm sorry for not being able to find the uh, logic here because I tried my best. I'm unable to do it. So the, and, you... uh, I have a weakness for math variance. It's predominantly math, I sometimes get stuck a lot. I'm, so I'm unable to see anything here. Everyone who knows my channel knows I'm terrible at this. And uh, Grockles is going to hate me for this. I'm really <laughs> sorry. The uniqueness thing is, Every Sudoku that gets created by a, a good um, author is going to have a unique solution. And if this isn't a two, if this is a four or a six, these cells would be able to be put in in either order. These could be sixes and these could be fours and the whole thing would, or we could swap them over and these could be fours and these could be sixes and there would be two solutions to the puzzle. So basically you are working on the fact that the author has created the Sudoku to produce a unique solution. And if you have a four or a six there, it gives you two solutions. Yep. So you, you are making use of information which you have already and using that to So what we know uh, is that has to be a two or there is more yes. than one solution to the puzzle, which is not something you try and use when solving logically. But we've exactly. tried and tried and tried. Someone in the comments tell us what we missed because this is already nearly a 90 minute video, one of the longest videos on my channel. I'm sorry, Kishore. We'll 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 do something better. No <laughs> issues. I, mean, I enjoyed do doing this with you because this is also new for me. I've never uh, collapsed all with anybody else. Then uh, my life show it was. It, it's normally better experience. than this. It is normally much better than. This. <laughs> I promise. Um, the last one I did was with virtual and it was also a bit of a train wreck. People will not believe that I am a good collaborative solver. I am actually better than this. Um, so uh, that's given us so all of that. So this is... Uh, we can place the four in box four. Uh, because we now know the total has to be 20. Uh, hang on. Oh, it's yes. 24. The six gives us a four. Um, we now know this sums to 24, but hopefully we've got some Sudoku we can be doing. 
Like this I is think we six, can play the six in box four. form. There's lots of pseudo there. Um, this is not a four. So there is a four in there. So there is no four there, which I could have got from the That's box. That's a six, right? Uh, in box four. That is a six. So that is a four. That's a four. And that means that's a four and that's a four and these are both sixes and I can get rid of the coloring and this time hope I'm correct. There is no six there. There is no four in either of those. So this is an eight. That wasn't the thing that got us a trouble in trouble last time, was it? Um, oh. That makes this a two, this it's an eight. Good. That's an eight. This is six. This a two. Um... <laughs> Okay. Uh, There's no four okay, there. The uh, this is a six. This is a two. Uh, it's got till the odds are it to be resolved. Sorry. Till the odds are it to be resolved. Yeah, yeah I think we've done the all the evens now, haven't we? But we now know the total of this is 30. Hooray. Yes, that should help us, I think. So we need to get another 13 in here. Uh, we have, yes, 20, 13. So which means we can eliminate the one from row four, column seven. Is that right? One from row four, column seven. If we put... Oh, no, no, no. You can't have the nine, right? Yes. But if we, hang on, this has to be another 13. Is this what we missed before? Because if we put a seven, we have. No, oh, I'm very confused. And uh, we need 10 more, right? 10 more from those cells. Mm, well. The not one and three needs to sum I, to. We can eliminate two. the seven from there, right? Row four, column yeah, seven. Yeah, there's you no seven, seven there. There is no seven there. Yes. So it's either one with nine or five with five. Yes. Both are possible. And wow. now we know seven goes in uh, row five, box six. Right. So there's yes. seven in there. Which means there's no seven in there. Which doesn't help us with that negative constraint. I was thinking that this was the place where the negative constraint was going to kick in, being the only place that I could see that it really could. Yes. But, we have a three there already. Yeah. But the three it is not helping the case. So I just realized something that you need to have repeating digits in column one, the cage right under that four in column one. Okay, because it now so, needs to because get Because if 24. you don't have repeating digits, uh, how else would you get uh, 24? So if we do five, seven, and nine, we get to... Which is 21. So uh, in simpler words, uh, row cannot... five, column two must be the same as row seven, column one. Because so, if you don't, and if you put four distinct digits, there is no way we can get 24, I think. Okay. Possible. But does that mean we can't put a one in the cage? Oh, no, we could if we go eight, nine, nine. Oh, man, this is still resisting? Uh, I'm not sure that my deduction is right. Oh, they you need not repeat. I'm sorry for what I said. It's not it's correct. It's okay. I believe you. The painkillers I took before I started this call, because as you know, I've had a migraine for the last two days. Um, I've really worn off. So I'm not thinking as clearly as I would like. Oh, okay. Same here. <laughs> I'm able to see things clearly now. Probably there's something much, much simpler we are missing here. Like whatever it is, it's hidden bleeding. It's almost embarrassing to release this video, isn't it? Um, 
So seven is in one of these two. If yes. seven is here, this sums to... Uh, 24. 12, 16, 17 plus 7, 24. Oh, that's not possible. You can't have 7 there. That's so an this can't be a 7. Finally, we've so got this is, this is the 7. That's a 7. I need so, to clap for you here. I mean, that's a really good reduction. Finally, the vice versa is being used. You can't have 7 in row 4, column 2, because that gets you to 24. Four. And you don't have a white dot there. And that conflicts with that, which we only got after the uniqueness thing. So this yes, is 7. Yes, yes. We know this sums to 12. So this becomes the 5. This becomes five. the 1. The 1. There is no 1 in any of those. Um, there's no 1 in any of those. In fact, there's no 5 in any of those. Um, 1 and... Okay, so now we know what is the... Uh, the uh, contents five, of the cage in column seven. one, right? We have one five nine inside. I mean, uh, column one cage under the four. We have one five and nine inside, so we probably know the other. Fifteen uh, plus, yeah, there are two nines in the cage now. That is sure, because we have need to get to twenty four, and one and five are already in the cage, and there is also a nine, which we marked at the start. Right. So it must be two nines and one one and five. So we can't put a three in this cage. Uh, we can directly mark row five, column two, and row seven, column one as nines because there are two nines in the cage. Okay. I am believing you because I am not thinking math well enough. Whoops. No, I needed to remove a three. So we've got that now. So that nine removes nine from those. That becomes a five, seven cage, which is not a 10 cage. Uh, that becomes a nine. Five makes that one and five. That's a five. I this think you should one. be able to finish now. That should be one. That should, we should be able to finish. It, we. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> uh, this is a three. This is a five. There's no five in those. The nine makes that a three and that three. a nine. nine. Nine comes out of all of those. This that's a seven. Five. That's a seven. That's a one. That's a seven. Uh, there is that no becomes... three in there or a nine. That's one five. So I take one five out of those. This is five. This is one. Got one. to type correctly. Three and nine. Three, nine. Seven, five. Five. Three, seven. Three, seven. Uh, and that should probably be finishable. Three in row three, column three. Three. Yeah. One, one, I five. Am, I am not typing correctly. Uh, the five. three looks down, making that five, and that becomes five, three, three in the three. corner. Yes, <laughs> and it took us an hour and a half. Oh no! Finally. <laughs> I'm really sorry, everyone, and I'm really sorry we were unable to find the logical path through that. I'm. Sh yeah, I apologies as well. I mean, but we tried uh, for a lot of time. We found the uniqueness uh, pretty early, but we were resisting to use that, but we could not find. So either we had to scrap the video or use it and continue. And so, because this, this is our first attempt at collaborative solving, I'm going to put this video out. I am not one of the guys from Cracking the Cryptic. I am not ashamed of the fact that I couldn't do this puzzle. I am sorry that Kishore might feel the same way. but No, 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 no. I'm happy that we could finally make this trap. That far outweighs this. Finally, yes. we got to sit together and make a video. Yeah, I've been very for happy. months. We have been. The, the time zones have been killing us. Um, so I'm going to put this video out, even though it's not something I would normally do, because getting together with Kishore is way more important. And I hope you'll enjoy the fact that we were able to do that. Um, we will try and get line this up to do this again. Um, if, you're, if I find or if I get a response as to what the actual path through this is, I will put it in the description. If someone posts a comment as to what the correct path through this is, I will put that in the description and give them credit. Um, so thank you to whoever does that, whether it's, um, I'll reach out to Grockles himself and say that we got stuck and uh, what we whether he can provide us the answer. Thank you everyone for watching. Thank you very much, Kishore, for Thanks, uh, joining Thanks, for me. hosting me. I really enjoyed making a session with you. We should do more of these often. <laughs> I, I hope we can. I hope the time zones will allow us. 
check out Unshackling Sudokus and Puzzles if you want to learn more about classic Sudokus in particular and the real and the advanced techniques that will help you improve. Definitely go and check that out. Check out um, the Enthralling Sudoku Patreon. I'll throw links to all of it above and below. I've probably already done it at the start of the video. And as always for me, good luck with your solving, Kishore. Anything? Yeah. Anything to yeah. add? One thing, I mean, I'm going to see you soon, probably make a video again with you in a few days. So <laughs> he's hoping you are here. <laughs> Hopefully. So we'll and if awesome. any of you guys are watching Brain without subscribing to his channel, please subscribe to his channel. I mean, he's creating a lot of quality content. I'm really enjoying the Sudokus he chooses. Please subscribe to his channel. Thanks very much. And yeah, good luck with your solving, everyone. Bye. Bye.